I'm Maya Lockett with the latest news from across the Santa Clarita Valley. College of the Canyon sports program has a lot to celebrate with student athletes committing to D1 and D2 schools. CFC will miss their five-star kicker, Tanner Brown. He announced on his Twitter page that he will be taking his explosive leg to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas this upcoming season. All-American wide receiver Alonzel Henderson is taking his speed to the University of Hawaii at Manoa for the 2020 season. Henderson finished the 2019 season with 57 interceptions, 1,016 receiving yards, and nine touchdowns. Women's golf player Jessie Lynn has signed with Washington State University. Lynn played a key role in the program's back-to-back -back state title runs in 2018 and 2019. The 6'2 middle blocker All-American, formerly known as Grace Ferguson, is heading to the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs. Ferguson ended the 2019 season with 222 kills, 77 total blocks, 36 aces, and 50 digs. Congratulations and good luck to all the Cougars who are continuing their sport collegiate career at four-year universities. With football season right around the corner, many football athletes are preparing for the up-and-coming season, which can be pretty hard without a gym. College prospect Jaden Lawrence tells us how he's been preparing for the season during this stay-at-home order. Text my coach. My coach texts me every morning, lifts that I can do with the things I have at home. So I just make use of that. I like to do pull ups, band push ups, pike press. COVID 19 can affect his future in sports. I'm worried my season will be canceled and I won't get to play my freshman year. I'm more angry than sad, disappointed, really, at most. But even through this disappointing situation, he still manages to find a light. I go, I have a studio, so I'm really into music. So I go, I work on my music and it just keeps my mind off everything really. And that's all for Canyons News. Make sure you go on www.canyonsnews.com to find out more information regarding COVID-19 in Santa Clarita.